Henry Lee Lucas is a name that resonates with one of the most perplexing and sinister chapters in the history of American crime. Identified as a self-proclaimed serial killer, Lucas's confessions once implicated him in hundreds of murders, thrusting him into the center of intense controversy and speculation. Born on August 23, 1936, in a modest one-room log cabin in Virginia, Henry Lee Lucas faced a harrowing early life marked by unimaginable abuse and neglect. His mother, engaged in sex work, subjected him to the traumatic experience of witnessing her interactions with clients. Meanwhile, his father, grappling with alcoholism, was largely absent, having lost his legs in a tragic railroad accident. The noxious surroundings served as the incubator for the disturbed mind of the youthful Lucas, who purportedly carried out his initial murder at the tender age of 14. His alleged victim was 17-year-old Laura Everleen Burnsley, whose life he claimed by strangulation. This gruesome act propelled him onto a trajectory of violence that would shape his existence. On January 11, 1960, Lucas engaged in a confrontation with his then 71-year-old mother, resulting in him stabbing her in the neck. This left her discovered, lying on the ground, bleeding profusely. After spending a decade in prison for the murder of his mother, he was released due to overcrowding in the correctional facility. Despite his history of violence, his aggressive behavior persisted, resulting in a failed marriage during which his ex-wife accused him of molesting her daughters. Lucas's narrative took a darker twist when he encountered Otis Toole, another wandering individual with a proclivity for violence. Their paths crossed at a soup kitchen in Jacksonville, Florida, in 1976. United in a gruesome alliance, they initiated a murderous rampage that extended across numerous states, primarily victimizing sex workers, migrants, and hitchhikers. Their connection was intricate, with Lucas frequently portraying Tool as both a partner and an associate. This collaboration would eventually play a pivotal role in Lucas's confessions, as he incriminated both himself and Tool in a string of atrocious murders. In 1983, Lucas faced arrest for the illegal possession of a firearm, triggering a series of events that catapulted him into the media spotlight. He started admitting to hundreds of unresolved murders, providing intricate details only known to the actual perpetrators. Law enforcement agencies from various regions rushed to interrogate him, hoping to solve long-standing cold cases. However, as his confessions multiplied, so did skepticism about their accuracy. Could a single individual genuinely be accountable for such an overwhelming number of crimes? To handle the sheer volume of confessions, the Lucas Task Force was formed. Its objective was to sift through Lucas's assertions and discern their credibility. However, the task force quickly faced allegations, with claims of providing information to Lucas to assist in concocting confessions. This controversy stemmed from a news report asserting that, to commit the alleged murders, Lucas would have had to cover approximately 11,000 miles in his 13-year-old Ford station wagon within a single month. The media wielded significant influence in molding the public's view of Henry Lee Lucas. With every fresh confession, headlines blared about the most prolific serial killer in history. The public experienced a mix of horror and fascination, eagerly devouring every sensational detail of Lucas's murder stories. However, as doubts increased, the media's depiction of Lucas underwent a transformation, shifting the narrative focus onto officials accused of seeking to resolve unsolved cases. During interviews and in various statements, Lucas provided unsettling glimpses into his mindset. He discussed his crimes with a disturbing casualness, occasionally expressing remorse, while other times relishing the attention garnered by his confessions. These peeks into his thoughts left many questioning whether Lucas was a repentant killer or a skilled manipulator thriving on the notoriety of his purported deeds. During the legal proceedings, the outcome for Lucas remained uncertain. He faced trials and was found guilty of multiple murders, including those of his girlfriend, Becky Powell, and an elderly woman named Kate Rich. The specter of a death sentence hovered over him, but in a surprising twist, then-governor of Texas, 
George W. Bush, changed his sentence to life in prison, expressing reservations about the trustworthiness of his confessions. While on death row, Lucas experienced a spiritual shift, embracing Christianity. He dedicated the last 18 years of his life to exemplary conduct as an inmate. He passed away from natural causes on March 12, 2001, at the age of 64, in a prison located in Huntsville, Texas. The story of Henry Lee Lucas serves as a haunting reminder of the potential darkness hidden within the human soul. It's a narrative that blurs the boundaries between reality and imagination, leaving many questioning the veracity of the alleged murders he was accused of committing.